A month after the universe was ripped open in Bender's big score, people decide to go on with their lives. Amy and Kif get married. Fry starts dating a girl named Colleen, but breaks up with her when he discovers she has many other boyfriends. At a conference, Professor Farnsworth proposes an expedition to investigate the anomaly. When Bender explodes the anomaly, his touch causes it to emit a shock wave that sends him and the ship flying. Farnsworth discovers that only living beings can pass through the anomaly, electrical objects are either repelled or destroyed. His plans for another expedition are rejected in favor of a military assault led by Zap Brannigan. During Zap's unsuccessful attack, Fry enters the anomaly while Kif is killed. On the other side of the anomaly, Fry comes across a colossal, one-eyed, tentacled alien named Yevo, which begins forcing its appendages through the anomaly. Yevo's tentacles touch everyone in the universe, and nothing can stop them since they are made of electromatter, which can only be harmed by other electromatter. Fry returns to Earth with Yevo's tentacle attached to the back of his neck and tells everyone to love the tentacle. Yevo's tentacles attach themselves to nearly everyone, causing their victims to fall in love with it, eventually leaving Leela as the only one unattached. Fry becomes the Pope of a religion established to worship Yevo. Leela examines Yevo's tentacle fragment and discovers that they are actually reproductive organs, revealing this to everyone at a universal religious gathering. Yevo admits that mating with everyone in the universe was its original intention but claims that it is now truly in love with them. As a sign of good faith, Yevo resurrects Kif who is heartbroken to discover that while he was dead, Zap capitalized on Amy's grief and slept with her. Yevo begins the relationship anew and removes its tentacles from everyone. Yevo takes everyone in tea. He universe out on a date at the same time, which goes well. However, the universe's leaders feel that Yevo has made no commitment and send a delegation to break up with it. Before they can do so, Yevo proposes marriage and they accept. Benda becomes frustrated from being neglected by Fry and makes a deal with the robot devil for an army of robots to take over the world in exchange for his firstborn son. With Robot Devil being genuinely shocked over how cold-blooded it was. His attack is made unnecessary when humanity leaves Earth willingly to live on Yevo along with the other civilizations of the universe. This leaves Bender lonely and stagnates the robot population, who are built to serve humans. The universe's residents promise Yevo that they will never contact other universes. Fry, however, cannot help writing a letter to Bender, which is sent without Yevo's knowledge. Bender receives Fry's letter, which is made out of electromatter, and decides to set out and rescue his friend from his relationship with Yevo. He and his army harpoon Yevo from the other side of the anomaly and tow it into their own universe. Fry convinces Bender to spare Yevo, but Yevo discovers that they Robots' weapons are lined with the electro-matter from Fry's letter, allowing them to harm it. Since Fry broke his promise, Yevo breaks up with the universe and makes everyone leave. Yevo finds consolation with Colleen, and they begin a relationship as they return to the other universe and close the anomaly. Fry decides to find love elsewhere and tries to ask Leela out, but she rejects him. Kiffer, Andy Amy's relationship is strained due to Amy's affair with Zap. Brenda breaks up his friend Squirrel and assures them that what they experienced was not love, as love is a jealous, hard to obtain M. Ocean that does not share itself with the world. Brenda shares his own love with Fry and Leela by giving them a big hug, which chokes them.